All right, in the last video, we set up our nav bar along with the router and the search and about component, which we can switch through using the navigation. So now what we're going to do is work on the search component, which is basically the home page. So let's go to search component .html, and we're going to add some HTML. So we're going to put an H1 here and we're just going to say need music. And then below that, I'm just going to paste in a paragraph here, just some kind of intro text. All right. And then under that is going to be our search form. All right. So in here, we're going to have a div. Let's give it a class of form group. And in here, we're going to have an input, give it a type of text. And let's see, we're going to give it a name attribute of search str, so search string. And we're going to use ng model, which needs brackets and parentheses it's a two way data binding attribute and that's also going to be search string. All right, let's give it a class of form control, which is a bootstrap class and the placeholder that just says search music. All right, now we're also going to need an event. So I'm going to put that right here that needs parentheses and the event action is going to be key up. Okay, so when a key up action is placed, it's going to call a function called search music. All right, let's save that. And there we go. So that looks pretty good. And then in the search component TS file, we're going to add that search music function and just to test things out let's say console.log and we'll just say test so now if we go back and we start to type you can see down here we get test okay so we know that 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 event is firing All right if we want to get what we put in there what do we call it search string so we need to add that as a property here. Uh, let's see, search str. That's going to be a string, and then we can just say console log this dot whoop, search string. Okay, and then as I start to type, you can see that it pops up down here. So we know that that's binding. All right. Now, what we want to do here is every time we every time we enter something in here, uh, we want it to basically make an API call to Spotify. So what we need to do is create a service. So in our app folder, we're going to create an, another folder called services. And let's create a file and we're going to call this Spotify dot service dot TS. All right, we're going to bring in the injectable because we want to be able to use dependency injection with this service. That's going to be from Angular Core. Okay, we're also going to be using the HTTP module. And oops, actually, that should be capital HTTP and headers from at Angular slash HTTP. Okay, we're also going to be using an observable, so we need the map function. So that's going to be RxJS slash add slash operator slash map. Okay, we'll put our injectable decorator and then create the class. All 
All right, so this is going to have uh, a couple properties. It's going to have a search URL. Actually, you know what? We're just going to do the search URL for now. So let's make this private search URL, and that's a string. All right, now we need a constructor. And we're using the HTTP module, so we have to inject that into the constructor. So we'll say private underscore HTTP HTTP. All right, now let's create a function called search music. And that's going to take a string, which will be the type of string. And it's also going to take a type which is going to have the default of artist. All right, and then down here we're going to take that search URL. This dot search URL equals https api dot spotify dot com slash search and we can look at the documentation too. Let's say Spotify API and let's see so we should have endpoint reference so we want the search so that should be down here right here search and it's going to be type artist by default all right so spotify.com slash search and then we're going to need that query and the query is going to equal and then we're going to concatenate the string that's passed into the function and we want to give it an offset parameter so here we're going to say and offset which is going to equal zero because we want it to start at the beginning and let's do and limit equals 20 and then we're going to do and type equals now this is going to be that that type variable so we're going to concatenate type which by default will be artist and then we're going to specify the market so we're going to say and market equals us or of course whatever you'd like all right and then let's see after that we're going to return this dot uh, this dot underscore HTTP dot get and here we're going to pass in that search URL and then we're going to return an observable so we want to say dot map and then in here we can say res and then res dot JSON okay so that'll return the JSON data back to us so let's save it and we want to grab that in our component, in our um, search component. So let's go in that file. And in order to use the um, service, we have to import it. So we're going to say import Spotify service. And that's going to be from. Now we're in the search folder, so we're going to go out one and then out another and then into services and then spotify.service then we need to create a constructor and we need to inject the service so we're going to say private underscore spotify service and we're going to set that to spotify service okay then we can get rid of this console log and we need to call the search music function from the service. So we can say this dot underscore Spotify service dot search music. Remember that takes in a string. So uh, the search string, which we can get with this dot search str. And then we're going to subscribe to it because it's an observable. And in here we're going to say res. 
and down here let's just do console.log and we can pass in res.artists.items okay that's what it's going to come back as so let's save it and then if we go over here and let's see uh, oh we got to add it as a provider so right here let's say providers and we just want to pass in Spotify service all right and then the other thing we need to do is we need to import the HTTP providers into the main app component so let's go to app component TS where is it and let's say import HTTP underscore providers that's going to be at uh, angular slash HTTP and then we're just going to go down here and we're going to add providers and HTTP providers save that all right so that's loading um, now it's giving us a message saying we're using the old forms module so let's just go into uh, main.ts and we just want to do another import here okay so we're going to say disable disable deprecated forms and provide forms from at angular slash uh, forms all right and then we just need to include it down here in this array so we're going to go like that and we want to include here the uh, disable deprecated forms which is a function and then the provide forms function save that and that should get rid of that message all right good so now if I start to type uh, let's say I don't know Aerosmith okay so as soon as it matches what okay so it says response 401 for uh, let's see query equals a unauthorized for URL Spotify dot com search query all right so let's take a look at the the service so I think it's something in this URL so HTTPS API Spotify dot com slash search query oh we forgot the version right here we should have v1 slash search all right let's try that yep there we go so now you'll see as I type it's searching and it's bringing back this object and it's basically the results you can see we have right here uh, where is it name Aerosmith has a link to the albums images has image URLs type is artist has the popularity um, so you can see that it's coming back with a response which is what we want all right so now that that's working in the next video what I want to do is bring this response into our page and load them here obviously we want to show them we don't want to just console log them all right so we're gonna get into that next